You have been miserable and we didn't even know about it. Yeah, because you couldn't tell us. Thing about Simon, he always lets me wipe his nose and wipe his face, um, except lately. Since he's had this particular runny nose, he won't let me touch his face. Like his nose is really red and really bothering him all the time. I'm gonna take Simon into the pediatrician's office and just see what is up with his nose. So I get Simon in the cart and I'm not prepared for what the doctor has to say. So it's a good thing that we came to the doctor and found out at the doctor that it wasn't just a runny nose, he'd actually stuffed something up his nose. Really high up there, like way up there. And we're gonna try and get it out. The doctor is, not me. I wonder what's up there. It looks like a toothpick. I wonder if it's like a toy or something. This is seriously weird. Sometimes one of the most difficult things about being at the doctor's office is having to wait. Once we figured out that Simon had what they called a foreign object up his nose, we had to wait and wait and wait some more. So okay. Man, that smells bad. It smells really bad. I'm really curious to know what he stuffed up his nose. I'm very curious about that. Huh, baby? Can you give mom a kiss? No. Never mind. Hey, it's okay. It's okay. You have been miserable and we didn't even know about it. Yeah, because you couldn't tell us. For anyone new to this channel, Simon is autistic. He's nonverbal and can't tell me when he's hurting or what he wants or how he feels. We have hope that he will learn how to talk someday. But for right now, not being able to communicate does make things tricky. About a year and a half ago, my husband and I sold our home, quit our job, and we went to all the national parks with our five kids in an RV. We're excited to share with you our adventures on these national parks and our day-to-day -day life of having five kids and two who are autistic. Now back to the story. Once the doctor sees the huge casing that comes out of my child's nose. Oh, what is it? Is it like a... <laughs> is it like a nut? It's like the outside oh, of the Oh yeah, nut. like a peanut the shell. The outside of the peanut? It's a peanut shell. Maybe. It was like deteriorating. Is there a nut in there? In there? Let's look. Let's oh. look back in. Whatever was inside this casing is still up his nose. And all I can think about is if the doctor can't get it out, we're headed to the ER and signing up for a really long night. At this part, I put down my phone and just help talk Simon through this. And then we see this come out Simon's nose. I can't believe this was up my child's nose. And for how long? We don't even know for sure if it is a nut. It could possibly be a bean. But what we know is that the doctor thankfully got it all out. Let's get a light here for a sec so you can actually see me. So we just got out of the doctor's office. I can't believe that Simon put a pistachio up his nose. And I also can't believe that we didn't know. So just putting this out there, if you ever have a child with a really stinky nose, like really stinky for a long time, it might be something in their nose. I was talking to my husband on the way home, telling him about the pistachio thing. And he's like, honey, we have four diapers in the house. And I was like, okay, I will go get diapers. It's 6 p.m. I have two kids that have diapers. We're not gonna make it through the night. So I'm gonna take him in the store to go get diapers and wipes. And we're gonna go home. And I don't even know what we're gonna have for dinner because it's already six. It's gonna be fine. Now we're back home. It's dark, it's late. Are we home? And you have one less pistachio stuffed up your nose? Okay, okay, okay. Okay, should we knock on the door? Knock, knock, knock. Oh, good job. There we go. Now we can come in. Yay. Thankfully, Simon's all better. This adventure reminds me of when I took all five kids to the dentist. Now that was fun. Check that video out here.